you know what? At some point, I just don't care no more. Because sometimes, life, your opinion doesn't even matter, you know, when it comes to franchises, characters, movies, even the current incidents that went on. And sometimes it's really hard to win arguments to the point where you just need to take a break from social media, period. I am getting to a point where I need to correct somebody. Because right now, it is so frustrating to have an opinion on certain things. And people just don't like the truth. I'm going to explain to y'all what I have been experiencing so far in my life. When it comes to having an opinion. When you drop an opinion on certain things, people will automatically... Get mad at you for speaking the truth. I get it. You liked it. Whatever it is that you like. But as soon as I drop an opinion on it. I get flack for it. So this year's marks 25th anniversary of Turbo Power Rangers movie. That god awful film. And yes I'm calling it awful because it still is. Sometimes in life you need to realize that. Just because you're a Power Rangers fan. Does not mean you shouldn't have that right to criticize anything. You have every single right to criticize anything Power Rangers related. So whether it's Mighty Morphin or even Turbo. And when it comes to Turbo, it's my number one gripe of the franchise. The movie sucked. Okay, let's be real here. The movie sucked because it made no sense. The Zeo powers were never destroyed. They just replaced the Zeo powers with the Turbo ones. Hell, even Nikita Burris actually mentioned something about a deleted scene from the movie. How Adam and Tanya were still fighting with their Zeo powers. Before they actually got the Turbo powers. Without any explanation of where the Turbo powers came from. The whole movie was just a giant mess. When I make comments like that, these are just, you know what I'm saying, those are just opinions. I have a right to have an opinion. But then somehow, arguing with the idiot on Instagram, saying how if you don't like it, they leave. And then I replied to him, so I'm not allowed to have an opinion, huh? Okay. So then he went off on me. Just because it's a kid's movie. Like, it's not supposed to be perfect. I get it. But there are far better kid movies out there that are way better than a god awful terrible movie. Sometimes, as a Power Rangers fan, it is so hard to have an opinion. You can't be positive about every single thing Power Rangers related. Whether, you know, they come up with new comics, new movie, TV show, etc. If there's something you don't like, use your voice to criticize it. Don't let people stop you from having an opinion. Because deep down, you're smarter than them. They don't know facts. They don't know no truth. They don't want the truth. And my truth of the matter is, is that the movie made no sense. That's why it's still hated. Hell, even... You know, it's not Blake Foster's fault that his character sucked. It's the way they wrote the character in the movie and the TV show. Mind you, the second half of Turbo was really better than the first one. Let's be honest with that. To me, it matters even more worse. I go on TikTok. There's this clip of Jim Carrey interview. He was talking about the Will Smith slap. And he was speaking truths. Like, you can't just run up on people on stage, smacking the piss out of Chris Rock for joking about Jada Pinkett Smith's hair condition. Like, they could have at least escorted him out if there's some personal beef that happened a long time ago. There's still a possibility that he could end up getting his award taken away from him because 
like I said, like they said before, you see my video yesterday on it. There's no place for tolerance of violence when it comes to whatever that they got going on. So I've seen some idiotic comments on there. There is this one comment that really bugged me. So it's because Jim Carrey is white. He cannot speak on black problems. And when I heard that comment like that, it really infuriated me. Like, number one, this has nothing to do with race. It's about taking accountability for your actions. It doesn't matter what color you are. Only accountability is key to learn from right from wrong. I don't understand it. You know, I I just don't get it. You bring in race into the situation just because a person who is non-black shouldn't speak on black issues. Like, what the? Seriously? Mind you, this lady is black, by the way, too. I had to do a video response. And then I had to correct her again. It's not about race. It's about accountability. Which is something that you lack. That you don't understand. I should have put that in as well. So I just put what I put. And I will bet you. In the next 30 minutes. She's going to probably respond to my comment. And still didn't get the message. So what if Jim Carrey is not black? Every race, every human being, every human race can speak on any problems. And you commenting like that? I think you're worse than Dr. Umar. I just don't get. I don't understand. I, I really just don't. The internet sometimes can be really toxic in times. The Turbo movie and the whole Jim Carrey interview. From Instagram to TikTok. So that's why I wanted to come on here to air out my frustrations with y'all. So you'll be able to relate to my issues or understand where I'm coming from with this. Yeah, like I said, as a Power Rangers fan, you have every right to criticize whatever it is that you don't like. If you don't like it, you don't like it. You shouldn't have to be positive about every single thing that comes out of Power Rangers. Old and new. If you don't like something. Speak it out. Don't hold it in. Because at the end of the day. You're human. You have every right to voice your opinion. Just want to let my um, rant. You know. Um, <laughs> I know I ranted for like a few minutes though. But I just wanted to come out and air my frustrations. Because sometimes in life. People will never accept the truth. So, y'all enjoyed this video. Please let me know in the comments down below, and I will see you in my next content. Peace.